Hey, what is up guys and welcome back once again to our Viking Let's Build series. Today we're going to be working on the interior of this small Viking house that we recently have made. And I gotta say, this thing is probably going to be really tricky considering the amount of space we have to work with. This is definitely the smallest build uh, that we've ever done, which is going to be uh, a little bit fun and a little bit tricky at the same time. So to start off with, I was thinking, uh, and by the way, I did already sort of clean up this attic area. I removed most of the... Uh, the oak wood or dark, I think it's just the spruce wood, isn't it? Yeah, the spruce wood um, logs. And I replaced most of those with either the air and then kind of filled in the walls with this, uh, the spruce wood planks. So the only other thing that I want to do to sort of finish this off and really clean it up is grab, where are they, the dark oak wood stairs and then I can throw these under like this. And I'm thinking this will give us a sort of nice archway looking roof like that and it just really kind of creates a nice shape and still leaves us a decent amount of room at least two blocks um, but since we don't have too much room I'm thinking for this one maybe we should switch it up and go half slabs and then put it actually on that layer so by using the half slabs we still have a little bit more room on the ceiling like this but then again uh, we still have at least two blocks of space for people to walk around up in the attic whereas if we decided to use a full block we'd be stuck with just like a little hallway thing in the middle, which would not be too fun to build with. So what we're gonna do is just continue this floor. I think we'll extend it out to here maybe. I kinda wanna have a sort of balcony because the chimney or the fireplace, whatever you wanna call it, is going to be right there. So I'm thinking if we extend this floor all the way over to here, and this, if you're wondering, is going to be four blocks, and then maybe we'll put a ladder in on this spot. Would that look good? So far, so good. I'm not sure how much room the fireplace is gonna take up. Uh, I'll try to keep it as small and condensed as possible. That's probably where we're going to put our flame. So let's just make a little guidance barrier thingy. Uh, in fact, let's swap over and grab... Let's grab some stone slabs and somehow make this thing look a bit nicer. Maybe we'll do some sort of layer like this. This is what I usually like to do. So if we have, and to make this a bit more functional, we'll grab a furnace. Throw two of these in. In fact, you could probably face them if you don't like the look of them on the front since that is a little bit weird. You could face them sideways like that. And then from there, I usually grab some cobblestone stairs, which we already have, and then the cobblestone walls. And we can kind of make this look a bit more decorative. So something like this, and then maybe either have these things face this way, or you can have them face in. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different combinations you can try to just make your fireplace really unique and whatnot. So we'll have that there. And then I think from that point, if we want to make this look even better we can just have this thing maybe extend all the way up to the ceiling I think that should be uh, a cool enough look and then that should be all we need to do with the fireplace really although as I was saying I always like to do these things with the iron bars that you may have seen before let's see if it'll connect okay good I was afraid it might not connect to the actual furnaces themselves but it has so that's gonna be cool so first, just so people don't fall off, we're going to place some fences in there, and then I think we'll probably end up grabbing, yeah, let's grab a trap door, and then throw this above the ladder. That way people can walk around here without falling down the ladder or off the cliff. So the fences and trap doors, those are always helpful. And then we'll grab ourselves a bed, because this is definitely a necessity, and then we'll have that there. And then what else could we do? I'm thinking I want to place a chest somewhere just so there's some kind of storage in this place. So maybe we'll have the chest face this way towards us and he'll only have one since this is a, a fairly small house and then depending on how this ends up looking I'll change it up accordingly okay I think this this will be perfect so we'll add a little tiny redstone torch right here like that and then we'll place in a little chair for him to sit on and this can kind of be his reading desk as you may want to call it or his nightstand so for the chair I want to use let's go birchwood I think this should add a nice bit of color variation. And there we go, trapdoor is gone. Not sure why it does that, but that happens occasionally. So let's see, there's that. And then just to make this look a bit more appealing, you could add a sign on there or a item frame just to become sort of like an armrest. Let's see, oh yeah, the item frame really looks good. I like how the red on that kind of matches the bed. Uh, that's definitely the selling point for me. So let's see, I think this, this might be all we need up here, although I'm kind of eager to see what kind of pictures we can get. I think some nice maybe... There, that's perfect. There we go. First try. Didn't expect to do that, but okay. So that's going to be the attic for now. I'm not sure that we really need to add anything else up there. Although if you want to go overboard, not really overboard, but just all out, uh, you can grab yourself some carpet 
and maybe throw one of these in. I think that looks quite cool. And there goes our trapdoor. Gosh dang it. You know what, just to start off with, let's grab, what I'm going to do right now is make a piston table. If you've ever seen these before, all you need is a piston and then some blocks of redstone. So we'll put the redstone on the bottom, then these two, and they kind of, they pop up and form a really nice table. So we'll have those in there. And then I'm thinking, we still need a chair. And I'm not sure if we want one or two or I really don't know what the hell we want to do. So let's see, I'm pretty sure, okay, so if we can place stuff on these pistons, that's going to be perfect. And there will be no need to remove them, but... Oh, we can't place them. See, that's gonna suck. So I guess we'll only have to go with one chair for now. So let's see. All we need to do is really just find out where the best place to place this chair in will be. So I'll grab my birch wood. I guess we already had that. So we'll place that in there. And that should be good. And then... Do we really want to do this thing? Hmm. I don't know. I almost just want to do that. In fact, yeah, let's just do the single table. I think that looks quite nice. And then maybe we could add a desk in right next to it. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Definitely unique. So we'll have that. And then maybe if you've seen before, there we go. That's a cup. But we can always change that to become an actual cup of water. Or we can set some stuff to be wine bottles and whatnot. Uh, we can definitely try as much as we want down here. Although I... Oh, crap. See, that was the problem with these things. I'm going to try it anyways. Hopefully I remember the item IDs. I'm not sure. Let's try it. Just in case you guys haven't seen me do this before, I'm just going to be changing some IDs around. And if you want to do this yourself, all you need is Conquest Texture Pack, uh, Optifine, and World Edit. And then from there, it's really quite simple. So if we do slash slash wand, and then we can do... Let's see, we'll do slash slash set, and then I think it's 30 colon 12. There we go. So that's some hanging fish. So that really looks quite cool. It's a nice meal. And then for that, I'm pretty sure we can get a rope if we do uh, 30 colon 5. Let's hope so. Or you know what? This is just, it's way too crowding. So what I'm going to do is just give them a nice wine bottle. So that'll be slash slash set. And then we'll go 30 colon 1. There we go. That's, that's nice enough. So we'll grab some of these. Place them in there. And then... Maybe we could do like a little seat right here. That could be cool. Okay, so we'll grab this, place that there. This could be a nice effect. And then we'll grab our item frame, stick that there, stick this one here. And then this kind of boxes it off. So now maybe we have room to place in um, another one of these right there if we want to. Or we could do some sort of other thing. I'm not sure what else we have. There's a lot of stuff with the item IDs. So you can always just mess around with those. Although I want to try to keep it as default as possible. So what to do, what to do. You know what, let's make this look kind of cool, so maybe we'll add some more decorations, maybe toss in a skull right there. And it sometimes will look better if you kind of make it diagonal like that, that's pretty cool. And then, that could really be all we need to do. Although there's lots of stuff we can try. You know what, this might be good enough. Hmm. And then is there anything we can do? I really don't know. But maybe we say we just place something like that on there and then get some flowers or something. This is really a tricky house to make this damn thing for. And then, okay, for sure we need a carpet though. And I'm thinking we should maybe go with a bear skin in front of the fireplace. That could look awesome. And then a wolf pelt back behind it. So if we go brown carpet, that'll give us our bear skin. Like that. It kind of looks ugly. Just matches in too much with the floor, so... Maybe we'll leave that open. I'm gonna... I gotta try the, the wolf pelt though. Every single time I place this in, no matter what the location, it always seems to look good. So I think that could look good right there. And then maybe a big one of four right here. That looks pretty sweet. And I guess that could be all we really need. Unless we do want to do a bigger bookshelf right here. Which might not look too bad. Yeah, that'll be cool. I quite like that. So we'll grab our skull, toss that there. And then it's almost like a maze. It's really just... It's a nice comfortable feel and then if we do want to add a nice bit of flame lighting we can always just throw this torch in for now although you can see how bright that makes the whole build so maybe we'll just throw in a redstone torch to kind of get a nice mood like that and then just so you guys can get like a, a really cool visual of how this will look at night time we'll switch this over so there we go and then I can fly outside so this looks nice and moody up here or down there I should say and then if we fly up to the top this is a nice cool effect up there so this really just kind of shows you how tricky these small builds can be. 
Although, in the end, if you make them right, they can really look nice and cozy, so... And let's see what it looks like from the outside. Pretty cool, I like how not too much light can be from the window, which is kind of a shame, but it still has a little bit, which is nice. But maybe we could try something like throwing a torch right there on the front. We could always do that, let's see. Does that add too much light in the middle? Or on the inside? No, not at all, okay. That's good, well! I think this almost concludes our build. Not sure if there's anything else we could make. Although, definitely whenever you have flat walls and stuff, you really want to end up placing in some pictures just to kind of... Oh, that was a very ugly one. Let's see. Can we get a good picture? Oops. Not a broken wall. A good picture. There we go. That one's really nice. So it definitely fills in the walls. And... I'm assuming that's all we can do. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I know it did turn out a bit slow. Really wasn't expecting it to be that tricky. Uh, I, To be honest, going into this, I thought a small interior might be uh, almost a little easier just because we don't have to fill it up so much. But it really did turn out to be a lot harder than some of the bigger builds we've done. So hopefully we can do some more small build interiors in the future, kind of get the hang of them, and maybe get some more ideas. Uh, so yeah, I think next, yeah, for sure next we'll be building in the medieval style. So let me know what you want to see in there. And then I believe, I think, one of the top recommendations for our next Viking build was going to be the church. So I'll definitely make sure and do that. And then I'm thinking since our town has gotten so big, uh, and I really didn't want it to end up like that, I kind of wanted to keep it nice and peaceful. I think we'll probably add maybe a few more houses and buildings into this town, finish up the outside walls, add a big giant forest around it, and then we'll probably start a new town down by the coast or something and get some docks. And then that way we can build some Viking ships and get this town we're working on right now uh, out for download, which should hopefully be exciting for you guys and for me as well. So yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one.